So I just officially opened this up. This is what we call Foco Coconut Juice, Jugo de Coco. I'll let you see the can here. This would be a... I think it's a Japanese company that makes it. And it's got little chunks of coconut in it, and it smells terrible. I've had a little bit of it. It's not actually bad. Um, if you couldn't find it in the store, I would recommend it to you, I guess. As a decent product, maybe without the chunks. Uh, as Americans, we're not used to drinking chunks in our drinks. But... You know, as an open-minded thinker, I really don't mind it. We'll just uh, continue this video until I have it gone, and I'll just talk to you about random things. Uh, as we're sitting in a minute and the ten seconds right now, but... <clears throat> uh, the bottom of the can actually is made a lot like a soup can. And the top of the can is made a lot like an old can from the 70s. I don't know if you can see it. I'll try and tip it down without spilling it. It's a little bit thinner of a mouth than what you want to see it too. Hmm? Fucking miracle right here. Right here. This dog is a miracle that she's out from underneath the bed. She never comes out from underneath the bed. And she just had a treat, didn't she? Mm. Had a treat. Yeah. You like that smell? But she comes out and visits me usually at night time. Uh, not necessarily during the day most of the time. And what's kind of funky is she only goes to the bathroom a couple times a day. And today she hasn't gone yet. You gotta go potty? You gonna go outside? You gonna go outside and go potty? She isn't acting like she usually does, so I guess she doesn't have to go. She like flips out when she has to go potty. Or what she thinks potty is. I drank another juice by this company called uh uh what the hell was it called? Some some kind of gummy juice. It had chunks in it too. But all the chunks were like right at the bottom. Uh, <clears throat> it's kind of fucking weirded me out, man. The, the juice was okay. It tasted a lot like uh, black licorice slash something unidentifiable to an American. <laughs> uh, I'm often open-minded about trying new things. I like to try anything, actually, usually, if it's food and consumable and okay and healthy. Um, let's see. Well, I'm trying this drink, and it's coconut juice. Like, I wouldn't think a coconut would taste like this. I would think it tastes more like a pina colada. trying to describe this. This is, um, it's definitely milky, but the substance inside the can is actually clear, which is cool. Really cool, actually. Um, if I were stranded on a desert island, I'd sure take it with me. Um, <clears throat> easier than cracking open a coconut. I mean, essentially, it was a cracked open coconut, but, I don't know, let's see what the ingredients are. The ingredients are young coconut juice, 80%. Okay, so let's think about that. It's a young coconut, not an old coconut. That's as much as it means to me. Uh, maybe young coconut is a specific type of breed of coconut. Maybe young coconut is... Um, just young. Who knows? But it's 
So that means about this much is, well, about that much. Okay, so 80% of that is pure coconut juice. Alright, and then we add water, sugar, young coconut pulp. It's got to be something with young. Something's got to be different about the young. I'm, I'm thinking that the older coconuts might taste a little bit different. Because I've tasted Almond Joys and stuff like that. And Almond Joys do not taste like this. So, it's got to do something with the, the young. Uh, it's got citric acid, E330. That's in parentheses. That is probably the specific type of citric acid, I would think. Uh, as acidity... Oh! <clears throat> as acidity regulators. No, that would be uh, citric acid, and the E3303 would be the acidity regular. Reg regulator. Uh, we're sitting at six minutes. I better speed this up. Uh, I got potassium... Meta by sulfite, meta by sulfite, and then it's got E two two four as a preservative. Okay, so E two two four must be the preservative, and these numbers, all these numbers on this can, each stand for something different that it does, and not necessarily as an ingredient. Um, allergy advice: <sighs> sulfur dioxide. It contains sulfur dioxide. So, if you find this, don't drink it if you're allergic to sulfur dioxide. <laughs> That's probably the best advice for you. Ingredients! Oh, we can read them in a different language. Sweet. Huego de Coco Joven. Agua. Azúcar. Polpa de coco joven, acidio citrico, como el regulador, regulador, I can almost say that better than I can say regulators, uh, de acidez, <laughs> meta by sulfito, meta, meta, meta by sulfito, phyto, Sulfito, maybe? Sulfito. De potassio. Uh, como conservante. Revisio. Sobra. Allergia. Contiente. 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 Dioxidio. De Azurfer. Okay. I'm assuming in the whatever language that this is written in, um, probably Spanish since there's de in there, I would think, um, that continente is the continent, dioxidio is part of the sulfur dioxide, but it's written backwards. Uh, the de as free as free. I would assume that that means sulfur, but I don't know. We can look it up, I guess. That would be fun. <clears throat> Manufactured by Thai Agri Foods Public Company Limited. Yeah, I was absolutely right. You can go to www.thaiagri.com in order to purchase this drink. Or you can go there just to simply look up ingredients or find out some other interesting fact, possibly, that I can't find out from the, uh, the can. Oh. And it says, <laughs> right here, this is the American in me, the, uh, the enculturement of my brain. <clears throat> it says on the side of the can, which we never read, um, chill and shake well for better flavor. 
which must mean that I'm not getting the best flavor that I can get out of this can. I'd stick it in a paint shaker. I definitely would. I would watch this can explode in juiciness of awesomeness. That's right. I just said it backwards on purpose. Alright, this can is 11.8 fluid ounces, 350 milliliters. You know, it's kind of fucked up. <clears throat> well, I guess it isn't, because we're Americans and whatever. I'm thinking a lot of thoughts in my head right now that I'm not telling you guys. So, it says net contents is 11.8 fluid ounces and 350 milliliters is what it is. We're sitting at 11 minutes. I'm going to end this video pretty soon here. Um, this is obviously not an American drink because 350 milliliters is even and 11.8 is not. Uh, contains 80% juice. Oh, we already read that. Serving size. Servings per container, one can and one can. Or one, I mean. 120 calories, calories from fat, 10. I'm going to get huge off this shit. Look out. Uh, total fat, 2% of the daily value based off of a 2,000? Is it a 2,000? It is 2,000. Even in Thailand, it's 2,000. That's pretty cool. That's universal then. Uh, cholesterol, 0%. Sodium, 5% of your daily value. 130 milligrams. So, if you really wanted to, like, find out how many milligrams of sodium are in your diet, you can take that 130 and do a math problem with it against the 5% to figure out the overall. Uh, total carbohydrates, 10%. Sweet. I drank 10 of these and I got lots of energy for the whole day. Dietary fiber, 4%. Old people, look out. Here we go. Protein, 0 grams, which means your muscle will go from this to this. To nothing. Alright, we got calcium, 8%. Iron, 5%. Vitamin A and vitamin C, 0%. And actually, right here it says vitamin. It doesn't say vitamin A. It says vitamin. And then it says vitaminia or mina, vitamina. And then it says A. It's got it in a different language there, which is kind of interesting that it says it at the end and they didn't put vitamin A and then vitamin A. Because they do it on the uh, other side with vitamin C too. It's kind of funky. Wonder why they do that. <clears throat> All right, percentage of daily values are based on a 2,000 calorie diet. Mm, then it's got it in a different language. We already read that part. It says this can is recyclable and throwawayable. Go figure. One of the two's got to happen, right? And it's got a couple little boxes down here in the corner, and it says 201-21. Product of Thailand. And then it shows us in a different language, which is probably Spanish, which is really fucked up because if you think about it, these guys live in Thailand, right? They're printing 100% English on their can for us. Because we, that would tell me, anyways, that we are the main consumers of this drink. We are the main consumers of their entire country probably. Do they export a lot to us? We should look that up and find out. Um, although figures like that are bad for your mind, uh, in my opinion. It's even got the little uh, on the tab here. The tab is completely normal, but uh, it says ME, which is uh, the hell is Emmy? And then H I five cents. And it's got five cents, like an American cent. 
So Yeah, I don't even care. You know what? I really don't care what ME and HI stand for right now. Uh, reason being, enculturement, I'd rather not. I mean, I know all the states in alphabetical order. I don't need to know what ME is and HI. I can refer to them by their names. Thank you very much. Um, but it is a good way to abbreviate it and put it on the camera. We're sitting at 15 minutes and 29 seconds. I just pushed the limit of my video. Um... I got one more thing to read to you on here. On the top of the can, it also says CA. I know that one's California. And then it says cash refund. So, it's it's going to kill me not to know it. So, I'm going to look it up. Look up what these two are and educate myself a little bit. Because I don't know all the states and all of their abbreviations. I mean, I would assume Ohio is OH, not HI. And we have like one state with an H, Hawaii, I mean, and Hawaii is not HI, I'm pretty sure. But uh, we're going to end this video now. I've got about that much left in the can. I'm going to finish it up. Cheers to you. And hopefully you enjoyed my random rants.